Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to discuss what you can make being an independent musician. So I was looking around on the internet recently and I came across an article on Hypebot and it said that DIY musicians now earn more than two billion a year. It says they're earning this from recorded music, music publishing income, live performance fees, merchandise sales, and other income. Music industry analysis recently estimated that DIY and self-releasing artists earned $643 million in recorded music revenue in 2018. In a new Rolling Stone piece, MBW's Tim Ingram looked at more recent data from DIY distributors including TuneCore, CD Baby, DistroKid, and Ditto and added 100 million in DIY publishing revenue to estimate a total earned by a DIY artist of 1 billion in 2019. So, I think those are incredible numbers and it is reinforcing what I've been saying that don't worry about getting signed by a major. You don't need it. You don't need it at all. You just need a good distributor, good music, decent marketing plan, decent promotion, and touring, and you can get out there and make a decent living. You might not become a millionaire right away, but you can make a living off of it. Meaning, I know some musicians that just play in like small clubs and bars and fill in for people by playing guitar and things like that, and they easily make 60, 70,000 a year just from getting these paid shows in their own state and surrounding states. It is totally feasible to make a living doing this off of music, where you're comfortable and it's the only thing you really have to focus on and do. Now, just because I'm saying, you know, don't worry about getting signed, it's still very profitable and smart to sign a music publishing deal where, you know, they write, you write the music, publishing company finds places to get your songs recorded, your music recorded, or your lyrics used, and then both of you split the profit in the end. I think that's still very smart, and there's a lot of people that still do that and make great money doing it. Also, you got to remember all the revenue streams that come from this, like it said in the article. It's downloading songs and albums, streaming, touring, merchandising, publishing, all that good stuff all comes together. You just got to know how to put it together and how to do it smart and how to do it right. But I, it just blew my mind when I read that. I was like, wow. They're, you know, that's why major labels are now finding other ways to do things. Like they'll, they're starting to partner with indie artists and bands and they'll just distribute for them or they'll distribute and market for them. It's not like a straight up, you're signed to our label, we own your masters and all that good stuff. They're actually collaborating more with these indie artists and bands and the deals are better depending on what you put in your contract. So just remember, this can be done by yourself. So that's really the gist of it. The article also said that it says for the labels that's meant offering more artist services and investing in independent distribution. But the real growth is being driven by streaming, DIY digital distribution and tech based artist services like Bandcamp and Bandzoogle that are helping hundreds of thousands turn their DIY music dreams into businesses. And that's what it is. You are a business and you are learning to make the money. It's all about timing and putting everything together at the right time, knowing people, having the knowledge. That's all you need. You got to be able to do it. You can do it. And I believe in all of you that are trying to make your dream come true. You just got to be sensible and be smart about it. So I hope you like this video. Leave a comment. What do you think? Are more artists going to start seeing revenue growth? Indie artists? What's in the future? What do you think? Leave a comment, let me know. Also, look in the description below. There's tons of services down there for you to help. Some of the ones are even mentioned in this video like TuneCore and Banzoogle. There's some offers down there strictly for my subscribers that you can use. And there's tons of other knowledge down in the description. Also, Send Me Music Fridays is every Friday where I do a short review of music sent into me. If you want to get in on that, go down to the description below and read about what you need to do to get your music to me. Now leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it and I will talk to you soon.